what I'd like to do is uh, kill two birds with one stone. I want to review this book, this ebook, but I also want to talk about why I messed with it in the first place. So this ebook is called The Beginner's Guide to Python Programming to Automate the Boring Task and Learn Coding Fast. Okay, now why would I care about learning a computer code? Well, Python is uh, uh, generally a first language a lot of folks use because it's it's sort of like English. It's it's not that hard to uh, understand. Um, it's kind of hard for me to go through the ebook and explain it all. But let me just say this: so a lot of websites are published in Python. NASA uses it for their science. It it works well with like the Arduinos, Arduinos, whatever the little microcontrollers. So with uh, Python, if you know this computer language. You can make sensors and micro. You can control motors and things. If you want to make, say, an automated um, hydroponic system, right? When you have a sensor and the X amount of nitrates is this, pump it to over here. The temperature, you know, switch the heater on. Python can do it. You can make. Um, apps for your phones you can make video games because it's so well known there is uh, libraries where you can grab bits of code to do things that other people have invented um, so it makes it pretty popular makes it pretty easy to use um, it isn't so good they don't use it to write things on like desktop computers uh, but it's used a lot uh, in parts and pieces of things so this is a really good language to use, I think, as a, as a prepper. If you know a little bit of a la about electronics, a little bit about machinery, you've got uh, some knowledge of coding like Python, a laptop. You can go up to a, a tractor or something, say after an EMP has fried some of the uh, uh, computer systems. Plug this in. If you have a good understanding, maybe make the tractor run again. So that's, that's pretty useful. Um, now, let's talk about the actual book. I've been wanting to learn Python for a while, and I've been looking at some of the uh, other books that you could buy, and I really just didn't want to spend the money. So I got this opportunity to review this one, and I jumped on it. Now, uh, this book is only like 4 or $5. You can get it in a multiple of fonts, you PDFs and eBooks or whatever. It's not that hard to read. Um, it's uh, actually not that hard to follow. I haven't really had a chance to go all the way through the book because I'm trying to do it, you know, bit by bit and understand one chapter before I go to the next one. So I'm not done with it. The only thing I will say about it is uh, the computer program that it uses, that it is, it's a free program. I've got it down here at the bottom of my Mac, uh, PyCharm, there's a um, free editor. I'm using the PyCharm education version that will actually help you learn Python without the book, um, and it's what the, uh, the book recommends, but it has been updated. So some of the instructions in the book for running the editor aren't a hundred percent accurate but it's close enough where you could figure it out okay it isn't really hard to do so I'm not I'm not a computer code geek you know yet uh, I don't know if I will ever be but it is a pretty cool and useful thing because I want to make an app on my phone that I can scan the USB tags on the my like say food storage or you know, tool inventory, so I can keep up with uh, what I need and where it's at, and maybe tie it into Amazon. So if I find a tool that is on my wish list that I don't have comes on sale, the phone will let me know. Um, but I have to learn how to do that because the computer guru said it'd cost them about fifteen hundred dollars to make. So I can spend some time and do it myself. So thank you very much. Like I said, this is a pretty good book, and I think it's very useful to get. Uh, Python, A Beginner's Guide to Python Programming to Automate the Boring Task and Learn Coding Fest by John Slavio.